What is this? Becca, Becca. What? Becca, Becca. What? What did you do here? What's the matter? What is this? What's what? Television, what is this? It's the Discovery Channel, the tornado program. You said you wanted to watch it and I recorded it for you, why? For Christ's sake. What's the matter? It's Danny's tape. You recorded over Danny's tape. No, I didn't. Pride and Prejudice was on that tape. We were watching it last night. You switched them. What? I watched Danny's tape later after you went to bed. Why didn't you take it out of the machine? Why didn't you check what was in there? I assumed it was the TV tape. Jesus, Becca. It was one of the baby videos? Oh, it was the most recent one, the long one. The park was on it in Mexico. How was I supposed to know you snuck down here? And Christmas. I thought it was the TV tape. Wasn't. I know, Howie. So it's gone, the whole thing. I'm sorry. The only copy, Becca. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Sure. What does that mean? You think I recorded over Danny's tape on purpose? I don't know. You don't know? I should have taken it out. Why would I deliberately record over it? I don't know. Why would I? I don't know. You took the paintings off the fridge. Danny's paintings. To save them, I put them in plastic. You shoved them in a box. For safekeeping. Okay. I didn't throw the paintings out. I know you didn't. You think I didn't want that tape? I don't, of course you did. Obviously it wasn't on purpose, but. What? Maybe subconsciously. Subconsciously. Is this what they're telling you at group? How I'm doing things subconsciously? I'm trying to get rid of him. I'm sorry, but that's just how it feels to me sometimes. Every day it's something else. It feels like you're trying to get rid of any evidence he was ever here. I didn't know that tape was in there. I'm not talking about the tape. It's not just the tape. And the paintings are downstairs in a box. You can look at them whenever you want. The clothes, his shoes. We don't need all that stuff. Why would we? You're wanting to sell the house. We already talked about- Taz, sending Taz to your mother's. There was a lot going on, Howie. We wouldn't, couldn't do with the dog. I was fine with the dog. I was the one walking him. Well, he got underfoot. He was a reminder. Yes, he was a reminder of, of what? I wanted one less reminder around here. That's perfectly normal. And since you never wanted the dog to begin with. Oh, for God's sake. Well, if I hadn't bought the dog. And if I hadn't run inside to get the phone, or if I had latched the gate. I left the gate unlatched. Well, I didn't check it. I'm not playing this game again, Howie. It, it was no one's fault. Not even the dogs. I know that. Dogs chase squirrels, boys chase dogs. Are you telling me or yourself? He loved that dog. Of course he did. And you got rid of him. <sighs> right. Like I got rid of the tape. I get it. It's not just the tape. I'm not talking about the tape, Becca. It's Taz and the paintings and the clothes and it's everything. You have to stop erasing him. You have to stop it. You have to stop. Do you really not know me, Howie? Do you really not know how utterly impossible that would be to erase him? No matter how many things I give to charity or how many art projects I box up, do you really think I don't see him every second of every day? And okay, I'm trying to make things a little easier on myself by hiding some of the photos and giving away the clothes, but that does not mean I'm trying to erase him. That tape was an accident and believe me, I will beat myself up about it forever, I'm sure. Like everything else that I could have prevented, but did it. It's not what I want, Beck. It's not what I'm talking about. No, because it feels like it is and it feels like I don't feel bad enough for you. I'm not mourning enough for your taste. Come on, that's not. Or mourning in the right way. But let me just say, Howie, that I am mourning as much as you are. And my grief is just as real and awful as yours. I know that. <laughs> you are not in a better place than I am. You are just in a different place. And that sucks that we can't be there for each other right now, but that is just the way it is. This stuff is all we have left. That's all I'm saying. Every bit of it that you get rid of. I understand that. You 
don't want to let go of it. I, I understand, Howie. Do you? Do you? This isn't, something has to change here because I can't do this like this. It's too hard. It's too hard. And I want that dog back. Your mother's making him fat. I want the dog back. Why don't we wait until? I don't want to. How much more do we have to lose? I miss the dog. I'm sorry, but I miss him. I want him back. 